Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Mr. Pink's channel. So this video will be a sub for my previous tutorial about handbrake. Most of you guys disliked it because I didn't explain anything. So with this tutorial, I will teach you guys the basics for encoding videos to H.265 using handbrake. Okay, let's start. First of all, you need to download a handbrake from handbrake.fr. It's completely open source, so you can use it without any problems. After installing the handbrake, open it. This is the main window of handbrake. You can add the file you want to encode from using this button like this. And I am going to use a gameplay footage I recorded earlier using action. It's in H.264 video codec, also it's 2GB in size. I will add it like this, so you can see it right here next to this source label. Now, after this, you need to select the output path to save the encoded file. You can do it like this by using this browse button in the destination area. When you choose a source to encode, always use something in good quality with high bitrate. If your source is in bad quality, output file will be the worst. Remember that. So like I said before, there are various steps with different options in handbrake. But with this tutorial, I will only talk about video and audio tabs because they contain all important settings for encoding videos to H.265. Okay, let's go straight to video tab. Right here, you need to select H.265 as your video codec. And I recommend you to use same as source option for frame rate. Otherwise, sometimes this can make your video out of sync. After that, let's go to this quality section. In here, you have two choices. You can go with constant quality or average bitrate. These are the key settings to increase the quality of your output file. Now, if you want to go with constant quality, I recommend you to use a value between 19 to 26 for 720p video. Remember, these are just my recommendations. These values are always depend on what kind of output file you need. The second option you have is average bitrate. If you are going to go with this, remember to choose two pass encoding. If you continue without selecting this, sometimes you may see artifacts in your output video. In here, you can select a bitrate value as you like for your video. I am going to go with 3000. Again, I am not an expert in this and these are just my personal recommendations. If you have better methods, please let me know by commenting on this video. So now we have selected the quality. After this, you need to select a proper value for X265 preset. This option is also important because if you select a faster value, it will increase the size of your video and decrease the quality. But if you select a slow value, your output file will be small and the quality will be great. I recommend you guys to use medium or slow because values like very slow will take really long time to encode. So the next part of this tutorial is audio encoding. Let's go to the audio tab. In here, you can see all audio tracks in your video file. If you have multiple tracks, it's okay. Select codec as HEAAC in your audio tracks and also use 1 to 8 bitrate with this mix down. Most of video encoders like Uaziri use this audio codec in their releases because it can generate a small audio file with good quality. After choosing settings as you like, you need to start encoding by clicking on this button but it will take some time to finish so this is the output file i got from 2gb source i used i encoded it with 3000 bitrate with 2 pass encoding and it's 330 megabytes in size 
also I don't see any lack of quality so this is the end of this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this and I will see you guys soon Shadow in the dark, ready to